So we're passing under another bridge. This one is the latest London Bridge. This version was completed not that long ago, relatively speaking, 1973. Now, there have been many, many different versions of London Bridge. It is believed, of course, that the Romans built the first Londinian Bridge in about 50-something AD. By the way, they did not, or records do show, records have revealed the Romans did not actually build the first ever bridge to cross the Thames. The first ever bridge to cross the Thames was actually constructed in the Bronze Age, and that was about a millennium and a half before the Romans came, long, long before London would have existed, of course. However, on our return journey, we'll talk about the much more famous medieval version of London Bridge that's around about the site of the current one from 1209 for a further 690 plus years. We'll talk about that wonderful version of our return journey. Over on your left, the sandy coloured building with the coloured roof and the big weather vanes on either side, slightly behind you close the front, on the left hand side. Uh, it's the old Green State Fish Market, the site of a fish market for over 800 years until we to the area of Dublin in 1982, now we use more parties and exhibitions. And staying on your left, the building with the little clock face behind the trees there on your left hand side, that's HM Customs and Excise. I think that version originated back to the 18th century, or replacing the 13th century original. So Christopher Wren, by the way, did design an earlier version of Custom House. Switching over to your right, the sandy covered building with the glass dome roof up in the centre, once known as the Breakfast Walls. This used to store a variety of dairy products, meats, swines and spices from all over the globe. It's now Hayes Galleria with shops and restaurants. The tenants, by the way, used to float in between that building and small vessels. They sell right in between and store their goods either side of it was once a story class. We are alongside very impressive HMS Belfast. The largest lightweight cruise and British fleet in World War II, here on your right, took part in D-Day, the Korean War Russian convoys. This was built at the same boat as the old-fated Titanic. It's a floating museum now. It's been there for quite a while, over 30 years. So when it was a working battle cruiser, by the first shot to the Juno Beach, 1944, it also helped to sink the German battleship as well, the Scharfhorst. Now floating museum, part of the Imperial War Museum's permanent exhibition, been here for over 30 years. Well worth a visit. So, coming up in front of us, to our left, to the right, the old and the fairly new. Let's step back in time briefly to the left. There's the Tower of London. Certain parts over 900 years old. We'll talk more about that on our return journey. Moving through the centuries, up to date, on your right, the glass domed building, City Hall, home to our current mayor, Boris Johnson. Hopefully, I'm not 